everyone, welcome to class. So today we're going to continue our annotation of the most dangerous game. So in our discussion of annotation, we remember that there are, the most, there are three most important things that we have to remember. H, C, M. Highlight and underline important words, important phrases, and character traits. Circle unfamiliar words. And margins, write comments, notes, and questions in the margins of the text. So make sure anything you highlight or underline, any of those important words, you write in the margin a little note about why it's important to you so you can refer back to it later. And then, if you see any unfamiliar words and you circle them, make sure in those margins you define, you look it up, you define it, and you keep that in the margin so that if you're rereading it, you need those answers again, it'll be right there and ready for you. Okay, so we're gonna continue reading the most dangerous game. Rose, could you tap these out, please? And let's remember that where we are in the story is General Zarok has welcomed Mr. Ransford into his chateau mansion, and he's kind of introducing him to this lavish lifestyle, but is also having a mysterious and kind of creepy hobby of hunting. So let's continue and make sure to be looking out for context clues and character traits about General Zarov and any important words, all right? So Erica, could you please start reading at General Zarov? Sure. General Zarov did not appear until luncheon. He was dressed faultlessly in the tweeds of a country squire. You, oh, you can stop right there, actually. Thank you. Um, so he was dressed faultlessly. Do we know what faultlessly means? No? Okay. So faultlessly, let's look, look at the other words and use our context. Tweeds of a country squire. A squire is kind of like a royal-ish person, so someone elite. So what was it? What would it mean if he was dressed faultlessly? Do you think? Yes. He's trying to impress people. Yeah, he's trying to impress people. <clears throat> what else? Anything else? Yes, story. Um, he takes pride in the way he looks. He takes pride in the way he looks. So he's trying to impress Ranford. To give off his air of pride and his appearance and his dignified, right? Okay, so that's an important character trait. So make sure you're marking those in the garden um, for general love. Um, guesses about what solicitous might mean? Worried. Worried. That's a great idea. That's perfect. So, solicitous means worried. He's full of concern. So make sure you mark in the margins after you circle solicitous. He's worried. That means he's full of concern. And what might that tell us about General Zaroff? If he's worried about Ransford's health, why would he worried about his health? Especially considering his hobby of hunting. He's yes. going to hunt him next. He's going to hunt him next, exactly. What else? Anything else? What's he shifting from? He's shifting from this elite person who's kind of trying to give everything to Ransford and give him, you know, all kinds of benefits and lavish dinners and dress. Yeah. He's going to be cruel and scary. Yeah, he's going to be very cruel and scary. He's, he's going to hunt him. He's having him as his prey. So, with these character traits in mind, make sure you note them in the margins. I'm going to have you um, continue with this annotation for homework, but to keep our annotation skills in mind, I made up a little cheer for us to remember the most important parts of annotation, okay? I'm going to say it and you'll repeat it back to me. Sound good? All right, awesome. So, annotation, for all text. Annotation, for all text. Highlight important words and character traits. Highlight important words and character traits. Next we circle. Unfamiliar words. Next we circle. Unfamiliar words. And write in the margins. Write in the margins. Questions. Comments. And notes, notes, notes. Questions. Comments. And notes, notes, notes. All right, great job everyone. Remember those important things for annotating, and I'll see you tomorrow.